On September 12th of 2008, a tragic train wreck occurred in San Fernando Valley, killing 25 people. One of the victims was 49-year-old Charles Peck, who was visiting for a job interview. Following the crash, his fiance and closest family members received calls from his cell phone. However, there was only static. His loved ones, having heard about the accident, believed that Charles was calling them for help. Rescue searchers were able to use the calls to track down the location of Charles' body, and it was later revealed that he actually died on impact. Oddly enough, his cell phone was never found. Jack Fruiz of Dunmore, Pennsylvania, passed away in June 2011. His untimely death, caused by a heart arrhythmia, came as a surprise to everyone who knew the 32-year-old man. Months later, in November 2011, something seemingly impossible happened. Some of the people Jack was closest to in life received emails from his personal account. What's even more chilling is that the messages mentioned inside conversations that only Jack would have known about. His best friend, Tim Hart, received a message with the subject line, I'm watching, that read, Did you hear me? I'm at your house. Clean your f***ing attic. Tim explained, I turned ghost white when I read it. It was very quick and short, but to a point that only Jack and I could relate on. According to Tim, Jack had teased him about his unsightly attic in private shortly before he passed away. Jack's friends and family fully acknowledge that this could have simply been a prank, but have chosen to just let it be. If this was a joke, it was a creepy one nonetheless. On April 12, 2011, YouTube channel Paranormal Normalcy uploaded a recording of a strange voicemail she received, which she believed was from her dead grandfather. According to the uploader, her grandfather passed away just a few months prior in December of 2010. If you listen to the recording, you can supposedly make out a voice saying, Grandpa. Saved message. The video's description asks for help with analyzing this recording. What do you think it could be? Popular author Dean Koontz is no stranger to the unknown and anomalies. While sitting in his office back in 1988, Dean received a chilling phone call that to this day he can't explain. He picked up only to hear three words coming from a female voice he described as distant sounding. Please be careful. The voice begged. Caught off guard, Dean asked who the caller was, only to be bombarded by the same warning three more times. Each time, the voice supposedly sounded more distant. This of course could have been written off as a tasteless joke, but Dean could have sworn the voice belonged to his mother. The only problem is that his mother had been dead for two decades at that point. Two days later, while visiting his mentally ill father, Dean was attacked with a knife. He managed to disarm his father. However, when authorities arrived and saw him holding the weapon, they mistook him for the aggressor and pointed their guns at him. Dean soon realized the confusion and the situation was resolved. He has since gone on to say that he believes the phone call he received two days prior may have been his mother warning him from the other side. Mm -hmm. 